Hello, this is Tim Campbell with Action Coach Business Coaching with my Survive and Thrive Business Spotlight Series. The purpose is to interview local business owners to help get the word out about them through my social channels and my email database. This is a free service I'm providing because my philosophy is if we save every business, we save the economy. Today, I have the pleasure of talking with Jerry. Jerry, welcome. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate being here. Yeah, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, let's get started. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your business. Oh, well, well thanks for that. Uh, you know, Affinitate is the business, and it's really geared towards how, how can we help people have more success? How can we help them achieve their goals? And, and it all revolves around being an advocate to help people accomplish those things. And uh, for many, some of the biggest challenges is they don't have the time, or if they have the time, it's what activities do I get involved with that will help me engage with the right people? And, and that's, that's ultimately what, what we're trying to accomplish and what we're helping people with. Fantastic. And how long have you been in business, Jerry? It's been about three and a half years now. Okay, fantastic. What has been the greatest impact of your business uh, throughout the COVID crisis? Ah, um, now is that an impact in terms of the way business, it's impacted the business or an impact in terms oh, yeah, of- Yeah, good clarifying question. The, the greatest impact to your business with the crisis, yes. Well, you know, on the surface, those first couple of weeks, it was one of those things that if what you are is basically a vehicle to help people to engage with the right people, and it's most of the time in restaurants uh, with small intimate groups, you know, it, it looked pretty dark uh, because none of that was going to happen. But through observation and through learning from others and, and just keeping aware, I was able to pivot to where a virtual type approach really accomplished the same thing. And in many ways, it even was better for some business leaders. So um, that impact, you know, sometimes it takes negative things or very challenging things to get you to open up your mind to other opportunities that you didn't think were valid. And so I think that impact is it's helped me see other opportunities. Fantastic. So what are one or two things that you have had to do differently that uh, has actually helped you uh, get to a better place is, is making a difference in your business model? Um, you know, I think it's, it's the, the being deliberate and being intentional in identifying those that I want to participate in activities hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think one of the, these things that it's helped me to do was come up with topics that were relevant to people in a way that helps them make decisions, help them navigate the challenges they have. And by no means is is it me that's providing all the expertise? All that I do is I, I'm basically the guide that helps these right people get together, have the right discussions, and, and then they're able to make the right decisions for them. So who do you serve, Jerry? Uh, really, like, who is your best customer? We call that a target audience. Yeah, yeah. You know, Tim, it's those people that they're, they're limited on time, for one. And they do business by relationships. So they're not a transaction driven organization. They're not a low cost provider. They're not someone that is the only, they're not the only companies or the only individuals that can provide this particular product of service that, that they do. Uh, where they make the difference is through the relationship, is through the understanding of those that they're working with. And, and so those are the individuals I can help the most that affinitates really helps. And it's, it's one of those things because what the, they'll say is that if I can just get a, the right conversation with that right person, everything falls into place. But, but the challenge is how do I get that conversation to where they will listen, they're receptive, and, and it, feels, it feels warm and feels powerful. And, and I can help them do that. And, and that's, those are people that it makes the biggest difference for. Fantastic. So earlier you mentioned the, the couple of weeks of, of it being a dark period. And I think many of us went through that. It sounds like you were quickly able to pivot. Did you go through any type of a pivot strategy session or how, 
you know, what, what enabled you to be able to quickly realize, you know, I got to make changes and, and just start executing? You know, it, it's one of those, it's easy to just somewhat shoot from the hip. And I think we learn our best lessons when we make mistakes and jump off. But what really helps is when you have, you have an individual or if you have groups that you can bounce ideas off of. And I think having trusted advisors um, that are around and, and that can help you learn from their experiences or their observations. It, it just, it's a, it's a godsend to have people to bounce those thoughts off of. And so that made a big difference with sort of giving me focus the right way. Ultimately, I'm the one that has to make things work, but it just makes it so much easier if you have the right support structure to, to help you navigate that. Fantastic. I'm, I'm glad that you had that. I've been doing a number of complimentary pivot sessions with companies to, for that exact point, I right? just to help folks to, to get regrounded and, and think through what's next and, and, you know, help them put their focus in the right direction. Right. So, Hey, th this is an interesting question, Jerry. It's been said that some people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what mistakes did you make along the way and how can other entrepreneurs learn from you? You know, that, that is a good question, Tim. For me, I would say, uh, by nature, I'm, I'm really detail-oriented and I'm a perfectionist. And so being a perfectionist and trying to do new things and trying to, um, trying to make this impact is really difficult. Mm -hmm. And so I learned early on with some, some help of, of some others that things don't have to be perfect. And in fact, I've learned my best lessons from the mistakes that I've made and they didn't go as I planned. And it's almost counterintuitive because through those mistakes, then trying to figure out where everything went wrong, I better understand the overall flow and the overall process. And it's helped me to be a lot more effective. And it's actually changed my whole mentality in that I want to fail fast now. I want to throw out new ideas. I want to try new things. And, you know, you have to almost put that, that ego behind you from the standpoint of, I don't want to do it very publicly where everyone sees. So the videos and things like that. But, uh, but if you can help others learn and if you can learn more quickly through the experience, I would say that's where that falls for me. Fantastic. Uh, my coach tells me a similar thing. There's a common phrase out there that's fail fast and fail often. Oh yeah. And, and my coach tells me the same thing too. He's like, Tim, how quickly you're going to get to your goals is how quickly you allow yourself to make a bunch of mistakes and, and fail and learn from. So yeah. Yeah. True story. All right. Second, last question here. Um, I have your email and your website and your phone number to include when I put this post out. Is there anything else that we should add, um, like a special offer or, or any other information that you'd like to share with my audience? You know, that's, that's, I appreciate your asking that. What I would say, I, I do several of these activities, and I, it's important that I bring in quality, quality people that have the right mindset. And so the majority of those participating in these things I do are guests. Uh, they're either people that my clients want to meet or um, they fit this profile of having really good insights to share, which adds value. So what I would, what I would offer and suggest that, is that if there's anyone out there that their mindset is they want to help people, their mindset is that it's important for them to make an impact, to make a difference on, on things around them, and relationships are a big deal. I'd love to have a conversation to, to find out if they would, if they would, if it would work for them to be a guest, a participant in, in one of these things and, and just experience it and, and hopefully engage with some, uh, with some good quality people. Fantastic. Well, we'll make sure to put that information in the post. Uh, last question, Jerry, tell me what is most inspiring for you today. You know, the timing of that's really interesting because of everything going on around us. What's inspiring to me are those people that are, are stepping up and are making a, making a concerted effort to, in a positive way, take care of things, to help other people. Um, 
I think as much as we criticize each other from having different points of view, I also think that when everything, everything falls and everything crashes down, I love how we in our country will come together and help each other pick, pick each other up. We may disagree a week from now, <laughs> but we'll get through whatever we're experiencing. And so to me, that's very inspiring. Uh, through negative and dark times, I think we see a lot of bright lights that are shining in different places. Yeah, for sure. That's so true. Thank you for sharing that. Well, Jerry, I appreciate uh, your time today. That concludes our interview. I will be posting this on my social channels later today. I'll uh, definitely tag you. Also be sending this out in a link um, in my weekly emails that go out on uh, Tuesday mornings. And so I'd, uh, I'd invite uh, everyone who's been listening, if you'd like to take advantage of that pivot session that I mentioned earlier or a complimentary coaching session, that's something that I do to just help business owners uh, navigate through this, this crazy time. And so if you'd like to take advantage of that, please reach out to me. Jerry, again, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. I appreciate your time and wish you a wonderful afternoon. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate your including me. All right. Take, take care. care.